be going over Gushin Drip. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day by day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1 hour chart. We remain in positive MACD. We're still off of overbought condition with the RSI. As with the 4 hour chart, we remain in positive MACD, seeing signs of a converge once more, and we're at overbought levels with the RSI. As we extend that further to the daily chart, we are in positive MACD and approaching to overbought condition with the RSI. As with the trade idea, my position size for Gush is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $84.80, and that is this range here. My sell target is at $101.16. My stop loss is at $81.23. And as for drip, on Friday, it closed down around 5.5%. As with the one hour chart, we are in negative MACD and approaching to oversold levels with the RSI. With the 4 hour chart, we remain in negative MACD, seeing signs of a diverge. As we extend that further to the daily chart, we see the same action, negative MACD, and at oversold levels with the RSI. As with the trade idea for drip, my position size is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $4.97. My sell target is at $6.17. And that is this range here. And my stop loss is at $4.55. So how did I develop the trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model. And I'm examining XOP and Gush is a leveraged version of XOP while drip is an inverse leverage of XOP. So do keep in mind of that. As we progress to the 5th day or week of trading, XOP has a 33% chance to climb between 0 to 6%. To the downside has a 33% chance to fall between 0 to negative 6% and a 33% chance to fall between negative 6 to negative 13%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.